Our heroes had found their way out of the dark and confusion of the underwear. Mario and friends now saw the sun shining brightly against a beautiful blue sky. This was the sky paradise Grampy called home, a place of joy called the over there. Somewhere above the never-ending layers of clouds waited Grampy himself. Mario and his friends began to make their way up that fluffy road to above. And welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time, we fought the Under Chomp and made it out of Underwear Road, and this time we begin Chapter 7-3, The Forbidden Apple. Ah, me. Blue skies again. If we continue upward, we'll soon be in the over there. Let us away. Yes, that sounds well and good, but we have yet to find Peach. I'm so worried. Pray, I would understand this. Is Yon Peach the lady friend of Mario? Well, um... Oh, verily, but the damsel looms large. In his regard, is this not so? A one-sided crush, then, mayhap? Ah, me, enough idle blather. I shall run ahead, so keep us up if thou canst. If thou climbest too slowly, the sun will set, so shake a leg. <laughs> I like how each region in this game has characters with, like, unique ways of speaking. I'm not quite sure if dialect is the right word, but like, you know, they talk in Old English, basically. Which is just kind of a nice little detail. You know, the Kragnans just really like the word Krag. Uh, and so on and so forth. You have unique locals to the different worlds. Except chapters 3 and uh, 4, because there were like no NPCs there. Hold two on these clouds, and you bounce really high up in the, the air uh, to make short work of the starting screen. Here endeth stair one. So now we're entering stair two. Now, uh, more of these boombox enemies, except they're stronger now. Ooh, this is not a good time to be really fast, <laughs> as we have to be doing precise platforming. Case in point, with Luigi, mind you, aka the slippery one. So, yeah, not fun <laughs> to actually, oh, to be at like triple speed at uh, this precise moment. Luigi is kind of our MVP here for now because obviously uh, this jump is really overpowered. I kind of want a mushroom, but I'm not gonna get one, I can already guarantee you. Uh, ooh, those jerks. Uh, the... What are they called? The electric ones. They're in Riverside Station from Fowler Door. I just don't know what they're called at the moment. Rough Puff? Is that right? I actually don't know. Anyway, here's uh, another door. Stair 3. Cool. They're making a good time through the over there, uh, so far. Wow, that is not w worth having a secret there. Oh hey, it's a door. So, this door has a little bit of an interesting item. Fruit! Now, unfortunately, this isn't the fruit we actually need. So, uh, this is kind of not entirely helpful. <laughs> oh well, moving on. Oh wow, you can actually jump on those. Also, these have so much HP. Uh, more than I was expecting. In here we have another, uh, catch card. This is the Rough Puff. Oh wow, that I actually got it right that time. So now we do 14 damage, making them a lot easier to, to manage. So yes, cash cards not only are good because of just, you know, being a good collectible and whatnot, and just, you know, if you like the towel log in the past games, cash cards are kind of your equivalent. Also, you can use Thudley to get all these. Uh, we're not going to do that because uh, we don't <laughs> need coins. We have 627. So yeah, we kind of don't need coins at the moment. This feels precarious, but drop in here. 
bounces up, and continue onwards. Full trim, don't need it. I'm actually gonna use the card shell just to demonstrate it. Classic Paper Mario action command right there. Again, we don't need it, but I'm just using it because why not? Therefore, uh, this is the stair we actually need to be on, by the way. Uh, this should be where our next objective lies. If we go into the store, there's a save block, so obviously something important is here. Mario, look! It's Peach! Princess Peach! Hey, hey! Wake up, Princess! Oh, come on! This is just plain annoying! Get up! Mm, man, this girl can sleep, huh? I mean, that was a serious roar right there. Ah, me! Pretty you tell me, Princess Peach, I assume? She hath eaten of the golden fruit. She lacketh the common sense, I fear. Golden fruit? The over there teemeth with magical trees whose fruit maketh many an odd effect. The fruit of golden hue maketh people so satisfied as they fall falleth into deep sleep. And I mean deep sleep, the kind thou dost not wake up from for a hundred years. A uh, hundred years? You gotta be kidding. Look, I'm a patient Koopa, but I'm not that patient. Love B, isn't there any way to wake her up sooner? Pray wherefore would I know of such? Ah, oh, but hold a moment. I do remember my father's words so long uh, of long ago. Yea, he said that what he said one tree in the over there bore of taboo fruit that could waketh anyone. Taboo fruit? What kind of tree has that sort of thing? Pray wherefore should I know, huh? So then all we know is we need to find a kind of fruit. Marvelous. Ah, we gotta do something. Let's go find any kind of fruit we can. So young Princess Peach all seem to hold her in her regard most high. Hmm. Do what thou wantest. I am not helping. I am sulking. And off she goes. But where may we find this fruit, pray tell? Now, uh, a little shortcut is that we actually need more than one fruit. <laughs> Spoiler. And one of that, of said fruit, can be found here. This is not the one to awaken Princess Peach, but it is helpful nonetheless. Uh, it's actually a really cool puzzle, but I am breaking it, because I already know what to do. Okay. There we go, red apple. Uh, we need this for a quest later on. So, uh, we're just grabbing that now, <laughs> well, while we're here. But that is not the fruit we need. We need to go up one more stair if I'm not... Maybe two more stairs. Anyway, it's a ways away, so we got a little bit of platforming to do. So I hope you like platforming, because there's a lot of it. I actually really like 2D platformers, so like I actually welcome the challenge, as odd as that may sound. Can I do this? No, it's too high up for Luigi to even make in one super jump. Oh well. Oh shoot, uh... <laughs> misjudged what I was supposed to do. Oh well... Also the void is even reaching basically uh, the afterlife, which is really scary if you think about it. Wait, why am I doing this? Also there's a chest there to the left that contains a shroom shake, so we're gonna ignore it. I think a, uh, a slow shroom shake, whatever it's called, the one that heals you gradually. Also, I'm gonna grab this here. Uh, 15 HP and cures poison, but hey, we can actually, uh, use a little bit of an HP boost. Uh, you can also use that in cooking. 
That's a good cooking item. Stair five. So this door goes. The door on the left goes to more fruit. So we're gonna go up. A lot of these doors just go to fruit. Uh, to tell the truth. Oh look, we got a heal after a, a immediately heal. Uh, and we need to go up one more layer. Like here. Black fruit hither. Gee, that sounds forbidden or ominous. This is yeah, there's all the other colors. One that's probably you know not bright and colorful. It's the not good one. Just a hunch, and also because there's a sign warning you about it. That's probably not a good sign. A black fruit from over there stared. It's very weird. Um, so this is the one we actually need. Not too much of a hike, thankfully. Uh, but, uh, the other fruit- Oh. <laughs> I didn't know there was no ground over there. No pun intended. S oh. Oh, duh, we're on a different layer. <laughs> Have to go over here. My bad. Uh, but we now need to return to the princess. Who... Uh, also, yeah, if you're doing cooking stuff, if you care about completing the cooking lot- Ooh, these guys look- Sketchy. Uh... Really sketchy. <laughs> oh, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. I was hoping for the live stream, not gonna lie. Cause I could actually go for the live stream. Uh, but oh well. So what's in this room? Because it's heavily guarded, so I assume something significant is here. Nothing? Okay. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of that room is. Oh well. Anyway, we need to go back to the princess. So, let's be through this door, and then from here... We just kind of need to drop, if I'm not mistaken. We, Which is what we're playing on, <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, where are we? We're near the red fruit, I think. So we need to go over here. I haven't been doing action commands lately, so I keep getting. And also that was off screen. So that was really anticlimactic. Also, um Because I haven't actually shown it off yet. Interesting. I was actually expecting something closer to Luigi's mansion, to tell the truth, because you know that's Luigi's starring game. Anyway, we made it back, so I'm actually going to call it here for today and finish up the Over There Stare next time. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Super Paper Mario.